so close that we used to live together, work together, and hang out together. So basically, we were married. <laughs> but after many years of togetherness, we decided to start seeing other people. And now we're here. We've known Amir and his family for over two decades. Our families are very close, and we are so happy that we're officially together, Amir. We love you so much. We thank you very much for treating Natasha the way she deserves to be treated, and we can never repay you for that. We love you times infinity. Aww. Natasha, words cannot describe how I feel about you, about tonight, about your next journey. As far as I'm going to cry. I, I, I practiced this speech, speech like 10 times, maybe 20. I kept calling myself Natasha. <laughs> But I love you so much. I'm so happy that you found the one. Clearly, I wasn't the one for you. <laughs> but I wish you nothing but the best for you both and this next journey in your life. And I hope nothing but the best for you. And God bless you both. Good evening, everyone. My name is Angela, and I am Amir's younger sister. And it is my honor and privilege to be here tonight and to take a moment to reflect on the beauty and the significance of today. Thank you to all who have traveled both far and close to be here tonight to show their love and support to our beautifully newly married couple. So Natasha and Amir, take a moment to look around and see your family and friends. A room filled of people who love you and who are going to support you throughout your years, both in times of celebration like today and in difficult times where we need to lean on one another to get through. Amir, I was writing my speech this morning and I realized that this very well may be the speech of my life. <laughs> These are the special moments in life when we get to share with others our love and how much they mean to us. So my speech is to you, Natasha, but it's about you, Amir. Natasha, you have got to know Amir very well over the past year and a half. You've gotten to see what a true and wonderful man he is. And I would like to tell you, yeah, I get it. I would like to tell you even more about your husband so that you can celebrate in the decision you made today to spend your lives together. Amir is the best person that I know. He is my favorite human being. He fits every superlative that I can think of. He is the kindest, the most sincere, the most honest, the most loving, the most thoughtful, and the most humble man that I have ever met. And for the past 26 years, I have been my brother's keeper, and he has been mine. Sometimes we see videos and hear on news stories of humanity, selfless acts of kindness and love. Natasha, Natasha, your husband has prayed with a homeless man under a bridge, and he is literally giving his coat off of his back to a friend who needed it. I share these things with you so that your heart and soul can be overwhelmed and that your cup may runneth over all the days of your life. The Lord gives and the Lord takes away, and today the Lord has given much. And I praise God and I thank him for his faithfulness, for him being able to see the greater picture when we cannot. I thank him for his sovereignty, for his love, for his peace, which transcends all understanding. I praise his holy name. Lord, Lord. So 
Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you a hope and a future. And the Lord has fulfilled that promise today. So in closing, I would like to share with you words from scripture that reflects God's plan for marriage. Two are better than one because they have a good return for their labor. If either of them falls down, one can keep the other up. But pity anyone who falls and has no one to help them up. Also, if two lie down together, they will keep warm. But how can one keep warm alone? Though one may be overpowered, two can defend themselves. A cord of three is a thor a cord of three strands is not quickly broken. I pray that you both keep this scripture in mind throughout your years, as you learn what it truly means to become one flesh, as you learn to grow with one another, as you learn to fight for each other rather than with each other, and most importantly, that you remember that the third strand that makes the cord so strong is God. May you praise him together all the days of your life. Cheers to you both. I wish you all the wonderful joys that life has to offer. May your good days outnumber your bad ones, and may your love never cease to grow. Yeah.